N0 FXB Andreas UK. Zero FXB, so it's 142. We've got a full charge of battery. We're just going to spend the whole day sat with this radio and uh, see how long it lasts. M0 FXB. FXB, still on the battery. Been on for uh, over an hour. We're on uh, DV Mega here, listening to Hubnet and the battery. It's th still three bars. I haven't really done much transmitting, but just listening. Right, we're at 346. Still going strong, two bars showing. Still listening, uh, talk group 91. Okay, 442. We're on one Charlie. Still showing two bars. Yep, coming up for 5.39, so uh, came, went on at 1.42, I believe, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 4 hours so far, 1 bar, we've mainly been listening, haven't really been transmitting, so it looks like it's going to go flat and turn off quite soon, it's in the red now, it's uh, 5.44 p.m. Yeah, well, it's gone off, so uh, we basically got roughly around four hours out of it. So uh, just sat here watching uh, Chinese videos from this really cool shop that stopped everything, and they're comparing um, the 7100 to the 705. So, yeah, it's a shop you'd definitely want to be in. M0FXB doing a battery test on the ICOM 705. There you go, just a quick preview of what I'm watching here at home. Nice little bracket there on the side of that 705. I know you can buy them, I've seen them advertised, I think they're about 20 odd pound, 20 to 30 pound. They hold the antenna, M0, FXB by 73. We've got the, um, the ICOM 705 here and it's currently connected to the charging DC lead, which is down here in a 12 volt CB power supply. It's only a few amps, that one. Um, so when it's connected, you have that battery and the emblem of charging showing. If you take it out, I just took that out usual jack so look it's showing how much charge is in the battery so i'll just turn it over so you can see what the battery looks like basically a, an icom 51 battery just to be safe i'll just turn it off turn this over carefully so you can see that i've got the icom id51 charger here now the radio will charge the battery when it's plugged into the radio and the radio will work as well at the same time. So I'll just pop this out. I'm going to get my fingers in there. Just pull those two little tabs. If I get some light here. Pull those two little tabs down. It's a bit fiddly. Just... I'll stand by one sec. That was a bit easier um, when I had two hands, but anyway, it's coming off now. There's my little icon torch there, so giving us a bit of light. So it lifts up, as you can see, normal ID51 battery, and there's your 51 charge, and it, it pops in no problem, so I've got a spare battery coming. Now the interesting thing is now that if I plug in the DC charger with no no battery it's faffing around a bit here. It's alright. So plug it in there. There's your your DC charger. 
Make sure it's turned on. It should come on. There you go, that's with no battery, and it told me that as well. Now, if, if the battery is connected, so you'll show you'll see now that it's not showing that it's charging. And if I turn it off, put the battery in. So it just sort of lies like that, like so, and then you sort of clip it in. You do have to push reasonable firm, but don't press on the screen. So as you can see now, you've got the orange thing coming up for that it's now connected and charging. So when you turn it on, there you go, you, you get to choose which battery you've got. The 307 is the long life battery. We've got the 272, which is the, I think it's 1800 milliamps. So hit that and then it'll show you the charge and it'll work great. Obviously when the battery's connected, it's I think maximum five watt. When you've got the DC lead connected, it will do 10 watts M0FXB. <laughs>